Welcome to a championship edition of the Sunday Sports Zone. I'm Michael Kelly, and to my left is the head coach of the A Sun champion UNF Ospreys, head coach Matthew Driscoll. Thrilled to have you with us. Uh, how's that sound? Well, it's awesome. I mean, it's uh, obviously when you're in a regular season, it's quite an accomplishment as well, too, especially coming from where we came from. But to go turn it around now and go through a three game and home court advantage. How cool was the arena today? You, you've told me for months you wanted this home court advantage throughout the A-Sun tournament, and you got it. Let's show you the highlights of how it happened. A sellout crowd of 61-55 on hand to watch UNF and USC Upstate in the A-Sun title game. Coach, you started slow early, but huh. Dallas more you needed this. Well, you know, the one thing about Dallas is he's so creative and so crafty. When he gets into his mid-range floater game, especially off two feet and gets his shoulders square and his hips right, he really can knock them down. And, you know, there goes Bebe Daniels. He was stretching on the table before the game, and I said, listen, you can space them. You can make their forwards come out and guard you. If you're open from three, you got to let it fly. And he did, and here's his second one in the corner. UNF goes up 16-8 thanks to back-to-back -back threes from Bebe. And, Coach, he was just heating up even down low. Daniels. He really has a great opportunity because he's got a game that he can take the ball to the rim. We talk, call him a three-level scorer. Then he can go the hook shot like he hit late. I mean, he's got a, a variety of shots that he can do and really knock things down. The second half, here comes Ty Green. You kept him quiet for the first half, but kind of started to heat up an 11-0 run for the Spartans, and they took the lead. Well, when they took the lead, it was 36-34, and I told the team, listen, it's the same as at the beginning of the game when it was 2 to nothing. So just start playing, and then Chris Davenport is such a great passer. We're blessed to have him and Bebe. He finds Jalen Nesbitt, South Carolina native from Spartanburg, <laughs> for a three. And then Daniels off the miss from Moore. Oh, good give me night. That. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he, he definitely has the ability. So long and so active and so smart. And then the defense from Davenport, that sets up this. Dallas Moore, prettiest pass of the game. I say yes. Coach, you? Absolutely. Jalen Nesbitt with the left and Chris Davenport, a rim protector, able to get up there and, and knock him down. But how about this high energy speed from Dallas Moore and his oop de oop he, he, loves, might, he might be the fastest player on the uh, court at this He point. loves that little oop de oop He did it against Purdue, too, a, at, at Purdue. A six-point lead for the Ospreys, and then how do you close this? Jalen Nesbitt's wide open, Coach, but Bebe goes, this is my game. Yeah, he said, let me get a little post-up game here on the guard. He went to his big boy game, and he got his hook, so. UNF wins 63-57, headed to their first big dance, and it's time to rush the court. Coach, as you look back on that, you're starting to tear up a little bit. Well, you know, I just you, you don't realize how much stuff goes through your mind, what you're doing there. And if you have any idea what it's like being a coach and and, and having children, and if you don't if you're not blessed with a great wife and someone that truly understands and is all in in the sense that meals in the office, bringing the boys down to hang out with me in the office, I mean, just uh, tr treating all the players like they're one of her own. I mean, there's so much that goes into being a wife of a coach, and to have her and Paxton up on the ladder with us, cutting down the net after Chase got his own deal to do it by himself. Pretty special to have your son on the team. Let's talk about the crowd. 61-55. We knew it was going to be packed. You begged, if not pleaded, for this place to be sold out, and you got your wish. What can you say about them? Well, the one thing, Michael, that we talked about is when we got the job, we talked about home court advantage and how critical it should be and how important it should be for the teams that finish out better. They should get that advantage. And when I came out of my car day to walk over and the students were lined up all the way to the tennis courts, I was like, whoa, do we have enough seats? You know what I mean? That's what I started thinking because I don't want people being disappointed. So, man, and there was a couple plays today where it got so loud, the floor was shaking. I mean, it was, it was electric, electric. We thought 5,800 was a sellout, and you still managed to fit an extra 355. How'd you do it? Well, first of all, you got to talk to the fire marshal, make sure you're good there. 
But 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 the one thing is like like Mo Casera did the game for ESPN, and and Mo said that they've done a lot of games in some big environments and some big time games, but they've never felt that like electrified and that like like everybody was like so intense and the playing was intense, the players were intense. I couldn't even hear the whistles. Like I couldn't even barely hear my whistle, and you know what my whistle's like. Let's, uh, you, speaking of intense, we want to show you this. Stephen Putnam has really turned into this UNF celebrity oh, in the last couple of weeks. What's it like watching him? I've never seen him. You've never seen So enjoy this. This is the first time I saw him today. And we've had some boosters and some alumni help provide some books and some scholarship situations for him because he just get, it gets him going. Look at the water going, hold up, I need a break, and then I can dance some more. Coach, he's, he's taking a lesson out of your book. We got to get him at the, uh, we got to have him at the selection show, that's for sure. At the selection show in the first round of the NCAA tournament, let's talk about that a little bit. Is it, is it too early to look ahead? You get a week to kind of relax. Well, I haven't looked at all. Right. And I told the guys it's poison. We should stay away from it. Fair. Sarah Walsh is coming down tomorrow from ESPN. They're going to do a special on the university and on the, on the program and kind of how it's developed, and I'm sure Steven's going to be on it as well, too, doing his deal. Uh, turn down the what, I think, is what he does it, too. Yep. But the other night, if you remember, Jalen got the dunk, and they called timeout in the semifinals, and it happened to be scripted that that was the song they played. Oh. So that's why the arena just kept going crazy because of him. So, it, it, hey, hey, you know what they say, it takes a village, you know what I mean, to raise a child. So to raise you enough up, it takes a lot more than just one person. It takes a whole bunch of people. One word to sum up today. Static. Static for the university. Um, j just a static for President Delaney. Um, a static for those alums that have always wanted to have this and always wanted to, to see their team dancing, so to speak, and be on the selection show. And for all the, th there's a lot of people, Michael, collected, connected to our program that didn't go to UNF. Right. And, and they bleed blue and gray though they have a, an, a, a degree from somewhere else, but they love our university. And, and because of that, I'm ecstatic for everybody involved. Well, enjoy the win. Enjoy the trophy. Enjoy the NCAA tournament. We cannot wait to follow you. Congratulations on everything. Thank you, my brother. Still to come on the Sunday Sports Zone. Much more. Pull out the checkbook because it's time to get paid. Julius Thomas, DeMarco Murray, both free agents. Is one of them coming to Jacksonville? Mike Garocco of ESPN.com in studio next.